Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential major winter storm Avery potential that could happen in the Midwest from states ranging from Wyoming all the way into Michigan and Indiana and Ohio. Those areas in between there have the potential to see a winter storm around October 19th to October 21st. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the day 6 to 10 outlook, temperature outlook, uh, from October 18th to October 22nd. That exact time frame is when that winter storm may happen. There has been model consistency with it. The exact location is the only uncertainty about it, but there's actually a decent amount of certainty about this event. Now, will this winter storm be officially named? Maybe, maybe not. We do not know until after it completely ends, but there is potential this could be our first named winter storm of the season, which would be Avery. Um, and you can see during the time frame of this winter storm, there is much below average temperatures expected in much of the Midwest with an 80% chance to see below average temperatures in the Dakotas and Minnesota. If you are in the blue, the odds are you're going to see below average temperatures during this period. Same thing goes for the red, except with above average. This is the precipitation outlook for that same time frame, October 18th to October 22nd. You see there is above average precipitation in the regions that the snowstorm could happen in. Um, the odds are, if you are in the green, you, you might see above average precipitation. And if you are in the brown, the odds are you'll see below average precipitation. Going into the first model here, which is the GFS, the latest GFS one. The GFS has had the most consistency with the snowstorm somewhere. Um, this is the latest run as of recording this video. You can see around 7 a.m. on October 18th, which is Sunday, October 18th, you see there is some snow ranging from Iowa into Nebraska. Move ahead six hours to the afternoon of October 18th. You see there is very heavy, very, very heavy snow in portions of Illinois, southern Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, along with rain in Missouri into Illinois, according to this model. This is very heavy snow where if this becomes true, there are multiple scenarios that could happen. If this you are seeing right here were to come true, whiteout conditions are likely in the heaviest areas. And moving ahead into the evening of October 18th or so, the evening, light snow lingers behind the system while it transitions to rain over Michigan. And heavy rain continues into the next day there. This is total accumulated snowfall from the system, and all the snow would have fallen in a 12 to 18 hour period, which is that shows you how heavy the snow is. You see there are widespread amounts greater than six inches in portions of Iowa, northern Illinois, and southern Wisconsin, with localized amounts greater than nine inches. This model has had consistency with a snowstorm happening. It does shift, like one model it would be in Illinois, one model it would be in Wisconsin, the other it would be in Michigan. There is enough certainty that a winter storm will probably happen during this time period. But the uncertainty is the exact location, which is why I'm going through three models with you today. The latest GDPS model run has the snowstorm arriving slightly earlier. In the very early morning hours of October 18th, you see snow going from south southwestern Wisconsin into Nebraska, where there is heavy snow. Go a couple hours later to the afternoon of October 18th. Heavy snow transitions to Iowa and to Wisconsin and portions of northwestern Illinois. Move ahead into the evening of October 18th. You see heavy snow continues in southeastern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, and Missouri, with some mix possible in central Missouri, according to this model, with rain in Michigan. And going into the overnight hours 
into the very early morning hours of October 19th, light snow continues in the back end of the system. And moving ahead a little more, you see some lake effect snow happening in Michigan over there around the 20th. This is total accumulated snowfall from this model run to GDPS. You see, once again, widespread amounts of greater than six inches going from Iowa, northern Illinois, into Wisconsin. And some of that lake effect snow in Michigan brings some totals above six inches as well. And you see there's a small corridor in that dark red there in southwestern Wisconsin that could be potential for greater than one foot of snow there. While I do believe that is unlikely, I wouldn't rule it out since this model was showing it. The ECMWF model, which is the last model I'm going to show you today, has the system much later. On the early morning of October 19th, you see heavy snow in a line from Illinois to Ohio with some heavy snow in southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and to the Dakotas. Moving ahead more to the afternoon of October 19th, you see some of that snow in northern Wisconsin and southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and to the Dakotas. While the heavy rain, there's heavy rain in Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, and the snow is actually displaced from the other models into northern Wisconsin and Minnesota and Iowa, which shows there is difference in models. The GFS and GDPS want a snowstorm in the southern Great Lakes, while this model wants it in the northern upper Midwest. And continuing into the early morning hours of the 20th, the snow continues in northern Wisconsin, Iowa, and Minnesota, while the rain continues in Michigan. And it slowly pushes east over time and transitions into more rain. Total accumulated snowfall from this model has, once again, widespread amounts of greater than six inches, except this time it's in a corridor from central Wisconsin into southern Minnesota into northern Iowa. Question of the day for this video is how many inches of snow do you think this potential snowstorm will bring at most in one location anywhere it impacts? Comment below your answers and I'll look over them. That's your trusted weather forecast for upcoming potential major winter storm Avery. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.